Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar, Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar kabira, walhamdulillahi kathira, wa subhanallahi wa bihamdihi bukratan wa asila, wa ashadu an la ilaha illa allahu wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh, وصفيه من قلقه وحبيبه اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين الله is the greatest الله is the greatest الله is the greatest all praise is due for to الله in abundance all glory belongs to Allah all time, in the mornings and in the evenings. All praise is for Allah. There is no God but He. It is He on Him only. The believers place their trust. Prayers and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his pure family, his noble companions, and all those who follow them with righteousness until the day of judgment. Today, the Muslim Ummah, Muslim communities around the world are celebrating the day of Eid al-Adha, a holy day of commemoration of the sacrifice of Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Though the joy, the happiness of Eid cannot be the same for all. As Muslims, we always have blessings to celebrate. Our faith in Allah gives us the strength, the power to always embrace life as it is, as it comes to us rather than as we wish it to be. In a hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Ajaban li amri al-mu'min inna amrahu kullahu lahu khayr. In asabathu sarra'u shakara fakana khayran lah, wa in asabathu dharra'u sabara fakana khayran lah. How wonderful is the condition of the believer, the Prophet said. There is good for him in every situation. This quality is unique to the true believer. If he experiences good fortune, he is grateful, and that is good for him. If misfortune befalls him, he endures it. He has sorrow. He endures it patiently, and that is also good for him because he will have the reward of patience in the day of judgment. Eight days are sacred moments of devotion and submission to Allah. There are not opportunities for disobeying Allah's command. Eid al-Adha invites all Muslims to reflect on the experience of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and the significant trials he faced throughout his life. For that, it serves as a reminder that faith and unwavering trust in Allah are essential in overcoming all life's challenges. Allah said, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَالِغُ أَمْرِ Which means, and whoever is mindful of Allah, watchful of Allah, Allah will make for him a way out, a way out of everything, every difficulty, every hardship, 
Allah will give him a solution and a way out. And Allah will provide for him in a manner he never could imagine. And whoever places his trust in Allah, Allah is all sufficient for him. You only need Allah, you don't need anything else. Surely Allah brings his command, Allah brings his purpose, Allah brings his matter, Allah brings his affairs and everything Allah wants, he brings it to pass. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. There is no God but Allah, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest. All praise is due to Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah al-Mubdi'i al-Mu'id, al-Fa'ali lima yurid, manna alayna bi idraq al-Eid, wa wa'adana bil jannati wal-Mazid, wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صل باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين أنك حميد مجيد. الله is the greatest. الله is the greatest. الله is truly the greatest. There is no god but الله. الله is the greatest. الله is the greatest. All praise is due to الله. As we enjoy a today, let us not forget our brethren, our brothers and sisters in Palestine and Gaza, as well as all those suffering from hardship, from health conditions or financial instabilities for or from any type of worriness, worries in our community and in any part of the world. Let us keep them all in our prayers. Let us also be mindful that some members of our community are students or converts who have no Muslim family members. So for them, the happiness of Eid it may be limited to the boundary of this masjid. So let us make effort to include them in our Eid celebration and invite them over to any aid gathering we may have whenever possible and convenient. On these days of Eid, let us purify our hearts. Let us forgive one another, not hold grudges against one another. In a hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا تَبَاغَدُوا وَلَا تَحَاسَدُوا وَلَا تَقَاطَعُوا Do not spy on one another. Do not hold grudges against one another. Do not envy one another. And do not break up ties with one another. Let us also maintain the ties of kinship. For that is a noble deed which benefits a person in this life and in the hereafter. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Silatul Qarabati Mathratun fil Mal, Mahabbatun fil Ahl, Mansa'atun fil Ajal. Maintaining the ties of kinship increases wealth. So if you want to be in a better situation financially, make sure that you maintain the ties of kinship. It it's establishes love within the family members. If you want love to be in your family, make sure that you maintain the ties of kinship. It expands lifespan. If, you're, if you want to live more, maintain the ties of kinship. So let us take this opportunity of, of Eid to call and check on our family members and our friends. Finally, 
offering the sacrifice Udhiyah or Qurbani is highly recommended and for some scholars it is an obligation. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Man kana lahu sa'atun wa lam yudahhi fala yaqarabanna musallana. Whoever can afford it and but does not offer the sacrifice, let him not come near to our places of worship. The meat of the sacrifice, even if you don't need the meat, you can give it all in charity. The meat of that sacrifice is divided into three parts, one third for personal and family immediate consumption, and one third as charity give it, give, given to the needy, and one third for sharing as gift with neighbors and friends or to be stored for later consumption. May Allah accept the Hajj of all those who are performing Hajj, the fasting of those who have fasted yesterday, and all the good deeds we managed to perform during these blessed days of 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. May Allah also reward all those who had the intention to do these good deeds, to fast, but the situation has the condition does not allow them to fast or they wanted to go to Hajj but they did not have the means to do so. So may Allah reward them for their intention. Amin, Amin, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillah alhamd, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, there is no God but Allah. Allah is the greatest, Allah is the greatest, and all praise is due to Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh, and Eid Mubarak to all. Just one second, please, just stay for a second. This is the second Eid, please stay, just folks, please, just for a second, just sit down. Guys, in the middle, please. Uh, there's the second Eid coming up, okay, and it's about, starts at 10 o'clock to 10 probably 10.30 like now, and then after that, there will be a party for the children, correct? Right at the front of the masjid here. So please bring your kids. This is an occasion to teach your kids about Islam and show that there's a Muslim community here. Bring your children so they can enjoy it. And please park. Don't park in the churches, okay? There are meters across the street, but make sure that they're not 24-hour meters, okay? Make sure they just say Sunday is free, okay? The university have some parking lots, okay? And please, if you have your car, don't leave it here. Take it out because the other groups need the place. Eid Mubarak to everyone.